Hey everyone, I just finished lunch and I had one of those spur of the moment decisions. Um, let's go out and take some photos with iPhones. When we're done taking the photos with the iPhones, I'm going to come back to the Airstream and I'm going to show you how to do um, some edits of your photography with the new Lightroom CC, the mobile app for uh, Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. All right, I didn't even bother to hook up the audio, so I don't know how good this sounds, but I'm in that much of a hurry because I just decided, let's go. So, let's go. I'm back from McPhee Reservoir. Um, took a quick trip up there a little while ago. It's up near Dolores, Colorado. And it's a pretty cool place. And you've got the backdrop of some of the uh, Rockies here in Colorado. And you can actually see Mesa Verde in the distance. So I've had fun photographing there before. And today I said, all right, I'm gonna run up there and we are just gonna do, uh, I'm just gonna shoot a couple of shots with the iPhone. And the whole reason behind that was to, um, give you a quick tutorial on using Lightroom CC for mobile. Um, so I photographed um, a couple of scenes there and now that we're back at the Airstream and out of the incredibly strong wind because you, you don't want to hear me in the wind out there, um, we're going to walk through and do a quick edit on um, on one of the photos I took out there and we're going to use Lightroom CC. So grabbing the iPhone here and I am actually gonna go to my screen recording. All right, so I'm recording on the iPhone and we are going to go over to my Lightroom CC in a moment. So I've got a couple of photos now in my photo library um, from today's shooting. And let me take a look. I actually like the look of this one. So this is the one that we're gonna be using in Lightroom CC. So I'm just arrowing back out of my albums and I'm going to my next page where I have Lightroom CC. So this is for mobile. Um, I do not actually synchronize with the cloud. I don't have an interest in it. So I'm not doing the subscription. I'm just using Lightroom CC on the phone for quick photo edits. I'm gonna hit the arrow back button here. So this is a screen you're normally gonna see on Lightroom CC. Um, so on the upper left, I've got all photos, 57 photos in here right now. I could make albums if I want to. I don't do that with this. And down on the lower right hand corner, we've got a camera button where we could actually take Lightroom CC into camera mode and shoot from Lightroom CC. Instead, I'm going to add an image from my camera roll. And there we go. I've got that image right there. I'm now going to flip the phone so that, um, so that I can see this better and see what I'm doing. So this is an okay image, it's a snapshot. It's nothing dramatic, nothing amazing. Um, but we're gonna use this one to see if we can improve it a little bit. So number one, on the right hand side, we've got all of the tools here. So the first tool is crop, and then we've got some layers. Um, we've got light, and we've got color calibration, and then we've got some other toys here. So first thing I'm gonna do, is I'm going to go into the crop menu really quick and I'm going to pick from one of the sizes. So I'm gonna do 16 by nine. And the reason I'm doing 16 by nine is I like that aspect ratio and I don't really worry very much anymore about um, 
sizing things for print. I, I really don't care about that much anymore. So I like the look of this. I think I'm going to slide this over a bit because I don't know if you notice, but in the background in the distance, we've got some of the Colorado Rockies there and there's snow caps on the peaks. So I'm going to go ahead on the right hand side down at the bottom. I've got a checkbox. So it has now made that crop for me. And hmm, do I need to rotate that just a little bit? Is the, yeah, maybe the horizon was off just a touch. And I'm gonna go ahead and nope, actually I don't like that. So I'm gonna take that back to zero and hit the checkbox again. There we go. All right, so my next step in this, I'm just taking a look at it and I'm gonna go take a look at the lights. So we could drop the exposure down, um, increase or decrease contrast, uh, drop the shadows, drop the highlights, uh, draw back the whites and blacks. And actually I'm just gonna do that and see, all right, blowing out the whites and nope, I don't like that. So I'm just bringing the slider back to zero. There we go and I'm not going to touch that one at all. The next one down is actually our color. So here's where I could play with the temperature, tint, and also increase the vibrance. Let's take a look at the image one more time. And maybe I'd like to push the vibrance up just a bit, get some more blue out of there. So between vibrance and saturation, I always use vibrance. Saturation overcooks all the colors and images. It always has and it always will. Um, in the case of vibrance, it brings up colors, but it doesn't overcook everything. So I like that a lot better. I'm also going to warm this scene up. Oh, way too much. I'm going to warm it up just a little bit. Give it more of a um, closing in on sunset feel there. So tapping the screen again, and maybe the temperature came up too much. So maybe I'll just bring that down to bring that down to plus four. All right, so now the image is coming along. It's definitely different than the original image. I'm gonna tap the screen again. And the next thing I'm gonna do is, on the right-hand side, this little box with the black area in there, we've got clarity. I would like to push up the edge detail a little bit more. And yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Dehaze is also pretty interesting, but usually I feel like it overcooks things just a bit too much but right here so i'm bringing dehaze up to about plus 23 and we also did the um the clarity there i can see those mountain peaks in the background a little more i'm just zooming in um, with my fingers here and zooming myself back out and i think i'm pretty satisfied with this so we've got this little flyout window for clarity and the other items but up in the upper right hand corner, I just tap that. Um, there's a checkbox here. I'm just gonna click on that checkbox. And so now it says, photo was successfully added to my library here. So now there's that photo. That photo is not on my film strip yet. So, or um, I'm sorry, it's not in my photo library on the iPhone. So what I can do here, upper right area, you see the little cloud and right next to that, that's a little export button. So I'm going to save that to my camera roll and I'm gonna do it maximum available. So we're gonna jump out of Adobe Lightroom CC and now I'm going to go back, I'm flipping my screen here and I'm gonna go look at my photo album again. And so here is the original as shot, no crops or anything. And now here is my final, so definitely brought out the blues in the sky. We got a little more definition to the clouds. There's a little more color in the overall scene. It's not as kind of uh, muted. So that's a quick, quick edit uh, with Lightroom CC. While we're here, I'm gonna take a look at one more with you. So let's go back over to Lightroom CC and I'm just flipping the screen here again. And we're gonna go back into Lightroom CC because there's another image that I took last night that I liked a lot and I didn't put in here yet. So bottom right hand corner, I've got that little ad from my camera roll and I'm going to grab this image right here. So this was shot as a pano with, um, with my iPhone. So from the iPhone's main camera. So this is kind of an oddball shape and size. 
So if I wanted to share it, let's say on Instagram or anywhere else, number one, I'm probably gonna have to crop this and I'm really sad to crop this because it looks very cool. Um, one thing I can say, you know, when it comes to cropping or not cropping things now, um, most people aren't printing things anymore. It's all displayed on screen. Everyone's sharing their photos on screen. So, you know, you don't really have to stick to the standard formats anymore. If you would like a wide panoramic to throw up on your website or throw up on your Facebook, I say go for it. Because if you're not worried about printing, you know, why mess with it at all? So last night we had these amazing clouds and we've got this whole scene here. And actually, you know what? I'm not gonna crop it. So in the upper right hand corner, I've got a little X symbol. So I wanna keep this image as is, as far as the perspective here. I wanna keep this old piano. But I think I would like to punch some extra detail. So I just went down right hand side, the little box with the open hole in it again. I'm gonna push the clarity up a good bit. We're pushing that up plus 35. So it's just pretty edgy. I'm digging that. Let's see what D. Hayes does here. Ooh, D. Hayes really kind of cooks those clouds a bit, doesn't it? That's kind of cool looking. And let's take a look at that. So I am just going to tap back into the screen. And that's looking pretty slick. That was a very, very quick edit. But just a little more drama in the clouds, a little more drama in the overall scene. All we did was slide the clarity slider and slide the D. Hayes slider. I'm going to tap that. And up here, um, I'm going to put my little, put that little detail window away just by tapping it. And we've got the checkbox right up here again. So I have now saved that to my Lightroom CC library. And up here next to the cloud, I'm going to save that to my camera roll as well. Maximum available. All right, there we go. It's saved to the camera roll. If you're going to use Lightroom CC on your mobile, is you should go ahead and experiment. Import a couple of photos, play with the sliders, play with the different features. The best way to learn is by doing here. So I'm not gonna show you all of the buttons on Lightroom CC because I think you should go through, tap each of the buttons, play with it, and see what kind of editing you can get done. So now I also have Lightroom on my computer and if you're traveling, if you're highly mobile, if you're RVing and you're having a great trip and having, you know, just out having some fun, um, here it is in a nutshell. Um, the computers get big. So I've got a MacBook Pro and then I've got an iMac with me. And sometimes I really regret the iMac and that I should have just gotten a new MacBook Pro, but you know, hey, it's expensive. But, um, you know, if you're just sharing images with friends and family, you want to do some really quick edits. Lightroom CC is great, so that is a way to enhance your photography a little bit after you're done shooting for the day. And you don't need the big bulky computer. If you're just sharing on Facebook, if you're sharing on Instagram, um, I don't need that big computer for, for the heavy editing, do I? No, I really don't. So on, on just, you know, just your standard iPhone um, or Android, you can do Lightroom CC. You can do some really cool edits that will enhance your images very quickly just on your mobile device. You don't even have to break out the laptop. You don't have to have the computer sitting around and you can share those images quickly with people. With everything that I've got on the, um, on the iPhone, uh, when it comes to photography from the iPhone, I'm pretty well covered for edits and for sharing on multiple social networks. All right, that's going to be it for this quick overview of using Lightroom CC for highly mobile people. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you've got any questions, if you want more answers about this, please leave a comment down below, and I will get back to you. If I need to do another video, we will. Also, make sure to like and subscribe down in the uh, right-hand corner there. All right, everyone, have an awesome day.